Hello YouTube and welcome to episode 4 of the Hamburger SV FM21 save and as you can see from where we left off we beat Schalke we've conceded two goals since that game and gone on an absolutely mental run as you can probably tell today we are taking on VFL Bosham who technically uh, above us uh, by two points at the moment. We were third going into this uh, match week, but Heidenheim have already played. As you can see, the next few games are very, very tough. We've got that same run of fixtures that we struggled with at the start of the season. So we get Heidenheim next, which you won't see. You will see us play Hanover again and try and get revenge for what happened when we played them the first time. So we're playing second, third, first, fifth, and then 11th. So we get a bit of uh, retribution there. As you've probably looked and seen, we did have our quarterfinal tie here against uh, Ravensburg. We won 6-1, and we drew Muchen Gladbach in the league, in the, league, in the cup, sorry. As you can see, though, Augsburg knocked out Bayern Munich. So we're versing Muchen Gladbach, and um, Augsburg are versing Leverkusen. So if we can get through Muchen Gladbach, we might have a good chance at winning the cup this season. But for today... We're focusing first on VFL Bosham because if we win this, we go outright second. So um, we're going to go balanced. That attacking was from the last game. I forgot to change that. The only big change to the team has been the introduction of uh, Jacker because I don't know if I can show you recently, but this dude has been on fire. But he's just lacking a bit of fitness. Um, so what we're going to do is we'll probably bring him on in the second half because Blazer's actually been doing a pretty good role, uh, role a good job in this uh, right mid role for us in our diamond. So this is the formation that I've actually changed into since our last episode. I can't remember if we actually had this diamond in the last episode or not. But anyway, this is what we're rolling with at the moment, um, and the team is just firing. So we've got Pedersen in. Actually, have I gone? I think I've gone through the transfer window with you. Lazaro came in and in his first uh, game in the Cup scored three goals. So we're still sort of riding that high with Lazaro at the moment. Manuel is just doing his thing. So what's that? 19 game seven and four. So he's just doing his job. He's starting to learn how to be a bit more of a target man because he's not that quick. Um, and his strength is pretty good actually at 13. Uh, so he's going to play up front as a target man with Lazaro trying to run on in behind. Vignado we brought in um, in January and he's just playing very very well it's good to watch so we are pretty well ready to go so this is almost as full strength as you can get we've got Wagner man suspended this dude's barely played this year and it's been annoying because he's got five star potential and he's only played 11 games because he's had injuries and suspensions but regardless Xavier's doing his thing out on the wing still he's still contributing and doing what he needs to do so no need to take him off I'm just double checking that the only person that I'd probably consider bringing is Pantovic, but I don't really think we need to. We do have a lot of midfielders, though. I might not bring Jung. I'm going to bring Pantovic just in case. All right, there we go. Submit the team. I'm happy with that team. So is the Twitch chat. So let's do it. If we win this game, we are going to be... Let's pump the fist. We could move into an prom automatic promotion spot after we were sitting 12th earlier in the season. So here we go. The game has started, and we are playing away. So we're on balance because I just don't want to be too aggressive. Here we go. Ball into the middle. It's a poor ball. We've got to close this space down. And they're through already. Far out. Five minutes in. Pedersen can't just hoof it forward to Vignato because he's not a big boy. Here we go. Ball in. We want to deal with this. It's over the bar. No, not great start. Another highlight. This is full of highlights already. Vignado into our right back. Ball in. Xavier oh, off the bar. Not ideal. All right. Another highlight. Far out. This is just full of highlights. 10 minutes in. Here we go. Xavier wins it high. He's a left footer. Go across the keeper there, Xavier. You know better than that. All right. Does the game calm down just a little bit? I'm going to encourage the boys. They're all up and about. Other than uh, Van Dronglen, because he's not happy, because I didn't give him a uh, contract that he was happy about, because we're out of money. So, all right, the game has settled down just a little bit. Here we go, Otavio, Icefield, Blum, 
Got to win this ball high before they get a ball in. This is very dangerous, and it's a good block. Very, very good block there. We almost just... We do want to win this game, obviously, because it puts us outright second. But, I mean, a draw away from home is not a bad result either. Vignardo, he's dropped in very deep to help the defense, and I like that. Here we go. Encourage the boys. Here we go. Come on. Can we get something going forward? Looks like we've sort of been battling with them for possession, but we haven't got a lot going. Vignardo, caught in possession, finds Rayman. Can we win this ball, though? We're going to win this header, and we don't. And the space opens up. It's not a bad foul if they gave it. I don't know what just happened there. Cleared off the line. I don't like... The goal line technology in this game is so stupid. All right, and we get to half time. Not ideal. Let's pump the fist. No, let's go hands together. Things just haven't gone right for us so far. I'm going to move it, not to attacking, to positive. Let's go positive. Win this header. We can't let him bring it down. There we go. Got to compete in the air though, boys. Come on. Can we win the ball back here? No, we can't. Ball through. Good save, Pedersen. Keeping us alive at the moment is Pedersen. Come on, we've got to deal with this ball. Can we deal with the header? We do. Pedersen again. He's been massive so far. And this game definitely has Jutta written all over it. So I reckon 60th minute, 65th minute, we'll look to bring Jutta on. Manuel nods it on. Lazaro has to go and press. He does. We win it high. Manuel holds it up. Here we go. Lazaro finding Liebelold. Strike it, son. Oh, he's missed. Oh, the skipper's put it wide. All right, I think it's Jutta time. We're doing it. It is Jutta time. Bless. Blesser is going to switch sides. And Amich is going to come off. We're going to get Jutta on. And we're going to swap and put higher in to midfield. We're going to pump the fist. Show me what you got. Jutta's been good for a goal all season. So it's time for him to really step it up and give us something here. Come on. And encourage the boys one more time. They seem to respond pretty well to that um, shout as well at the moment. And it's almost time to change our number 10. Vignado struggling. So Vignado out. We're going to put... Oh, we're going to go Kittle in there. Balesa's struggling. So we're going to go Pantovic. What's that? Four subs. We're going to keep one sub. Let's pump the fist. Show me what you got today, boys. If you're going to turn up, this is the time to do it. Come on, lads. Let's encourage the boys one more time. Here we go. Highlight for us. Kittle. Higher. Switches it out. Poor switch. There is so much space, but we win it back high. Lazaro. Kittle. Manuel. Higher. Pantovic. Get on the ball, son. Ball in. Back post. Oh, Jutta was there. He was ready to nod in. He's 11th for the season. Keeps it alive. Higher. Slides in. Here we go. Jutta. Oh, good save from the goalkeeper. That's frustrating. We're here. Come on. Can we find the winner? Kittle. Whip it in, son. Give us something. Oh, it gets cleared by the first man. Here we go. Jutta keeps it. Lieberlold. Don't lose the ball there. Well done, lads. All right. Lieberlold is very, he's struggling a lot. Both fullbacks are really, really struggling. We're going to take Lieberlold off. We're going to pump the fist. I have faith in you to go make the difference. Let's play. Come on. Not long to go now. Time to demand more, I think, when I can. Which doesn't look like I'm going to be able to. Demand more. Here we go. Is there time for one more chance? There is. There is time for a chance. Do we get a late goal to put us into automatic promotion? Kittle, ball in. It's dealt with. Oh, we don't get there first. Maya running away from us. Pantovic, that's fantastic. He actually does not keep it in, though. Is there time? The highlight continues. Can we win it from the throw? We do, but we give it away. Please don't concede here, boys. It's gone. I think that's game. All right. I did say I'd be happy with a draw. Let's see if that's what the result is. Pedersen, short, long. And that is all she wrote. A nil-nil draw. Outstretched arms. I'm happy with what I saw. That there was a competitive game. I'll take that. It puts us in third still. Still two points behind. 
with plenty of time to go. So YouTube, you are going to see us, not for this Heidenheim game, you are going to see us for the next one after that, which is Hanover. Back YouTube, we are here taking on Hanover. As you can tell, we have won 3-0 against Heidenheim, which is a massive result for us as well. Arezzo did score, and then Manuel scored a double. But even though I actually forgot that um, that Arezzo did score for us, he is not going to play, though. We're going to go Manuel in that role, and we're going to bring Tarodi back. Simon is coming in as the target man to give us a big target. He's got good heading. He's got good jumping. He's just got the stats to be the target man. So we're going to roll um, with Simon for the rest of the year. I think I'm going to go Vignado. I've just pivoted there at the last second. Vignado has been uh, pretty solid for us uh, since joining. So we're going to keep him in. Plus, Hosu has been struggling with uh, fitness, um, surprisingly, because his stats are pretty good. But anyway, we do have a couple guys not playing. We've got no Moritz um, suspended, uh, too many yellows. And same with Onana, which hurts quite a bit. I feel like he's actually gone down, though. Um, but he's been playing well. I'm not quite sure why he's gone down. What's his overall rating? 6.7. It's not bad. I guess he's meant to be more of a like box-to-box -box mid, and he's been playing as DM, so he's been playing out of position. But I think he'll come up eventually. But anyway, this game is huge because we are taking on Hanover, who are top of the league, and we are playing them in their stadium, we had a very, very interesting um, game against them, if you guys remember from, I think it was episode two, I reckon it was. So if you remember that, then you definitely know that I want to get three points here today. So Pedersen finds Van Drongelen. Here we go. They were already playing. Manuel's through. That's fine. Two minutes in. That's positive. That's what I want to see. It's already looking good. Here we go. Come on, boys. Win that in the middle. Vangerman smacks it towards Tarodi. I think he's going to have a lot to do. And a big say on this outcome as Tarodi goes through and puts us 1-0 up. There we go. Come on. That's what we need to see from the boys. That's what we want to see. There we go. 1-0. That is all. Come on. Oh, here we go. A free kick opportunity here for Manuel. Sticks it in the... We've scored again. Four minutes in, we're two new up against the top side. Come on. What has gone on there? That is an absolute major mistake from their goalkeeper. That free kick was moving. And he's just punched it into the top corner for us. We're two new up. I'm going to just keep it going as we are because why change anything? What the hell is going on? I'm actually more than happy for this just to tick away now. Here we go. Xavier Amici balling off oh, Van Drongelen. Come on. What are you doing, son? Come on, boys. All right. Just try and get to at least 2 new at half time. I don't, don't want to concede. Come on, Manuel. On your bike. Just keep him there. There's no easy chance. Well done, Vangerman. Yo, Jutta, Tarodi, Manuel. Can we make it three? Manuel, he puts it into the side netting. We're three new up. Oh, my God. What is going on? What is going on? This is beyond a joke at this point. We are three nil to the good. 23 minutes in. What a finish. Finds the side netting. Is this the moment? That shapes our season. I think it might be. Here we go. Another highlight. Here we go. Kinsombi. We are missing Onana, who's played all season. Come on, Kinsombi. Look at the way we just track back as well. The boys are just... This system... I don't know what made us change into a diamond, but the second we've changed into this diamond, we've just gone on absolute tear. And here we go. We're going to concede here. What a challenge. And what a save from Pedersen. The boys are just putting in an absolute shift here at the moment. Heidenheim are winning 2-0 though as well. So he, it might not be all roses. But obviously we're ahead of them regardless. But anyway, that's what we needed. Let's just try and get to half time. Or we're going to make it 4. Jutta. Oh, here comes a counter attack. 2-1-2. Two two. How do we defend this? Ball through. Oh, and they're on complete different wavelengths there. And we've just pumped it long just to release some pressure. 
And here we go. This is what I like to see. Look at the way we're pressing. The boys want the ball. Here we go. We're there first. Pedersen just hoofs it. There we go. That's why we bring Simon in. Manuel's through again. Manuel slots it. Oh, he puts it wide. I thought we were on there. All right, here we go. Amici. Oh, that's a red. That's a red. That is definitely a red card. Yep. Okay. That was a pretty bad challenge, I'm not going to lie. All right, what we're going to do is... Um, you're just going to have to go play on the left. Um, we'll push you up a line, but we'll make your roll deep lying on defense still. Um, who's that? Oh, that is... What's his name? Um, Vignado is not much of a lefty, but Jutta could go there, so we'll just swap them around. All right, not ideal. Um, we'll go cautious. I don't want to go like mega defense. Why can't I change it? Let me change it, FM. There we go. All right, outstretched arms. I'm very pleased, other than the red card, that's obviously very frustrating, but. We'll go cautious, and if we need to drop a striker, we'll do that later on. All right, if we can see it here, I'm changing the system. Good save, Pedersen. I'm very tempted to just go like a 4-2-3 or something and just have two DMs to sit in front at the moment, which we might do. We might just drop one of the strikers into the midfield. Or even go four, like just a 4-4-1. Four, four, and just leave someone up front by themselves. We might do that. Let's see how we go. All right. Let's praise the boys. They're doing a good job. They're down to 10 men against the top team. But luckily, we're 3-0 up. Tarodi. I think we leave Tarodi up front. I'm going to make the change, I think. Vignato doing all he can. But we're going to make the change. We're going to go... Um, a second man in the midfield. You up front by yourself as a target man on attack. And, um, oh, that's Tarodi there. So we want Tarodi up front as a target man. And we're going to bring um, Jungi in there to play as a box-to-box -box on support. So it's a bit frustrating to take Manuel off after he was playing well, but I think we just need to be a bit more consolidative here because we don't want to uh, end up throwing a three goal lead away well done Vignardo big challenge Xavier's really put us under the pump here now oh good save again Pedersen I'm not sure if Kenny's here but Pedersen is putting an absolute shift in at the moment ball goes through please not be a penalty it's a free kick to us at least okay all right, who's struggling? We're struggling. He's on, oh, whatever, he's on a yellow card, that's fine. He's, he can get suspended, doesn't bother me. All right, we're going to make some moves. All right, Vignado's struggling. Where is Vignado playing? He's playing on the right. So what we'll do is we'll bring on um, Pantovic, and we'll put Pantovic out on the left. So only two subs gone. We'll, what we'll do is we'll take, we'll swap them around and we'll go Belesa in that box to box roll. And we will take Vagdaman off as well. Show me what you got. There we are. Come on. Can we just hold on here, boys? What are we? 15 minutes away. It's off the bar. Far out. Now we're really under the pump. Can we just hold on here? I'm just going to keep praising the boys because. I can't really do much else at this point. They're doing such a good job trying to just hold on here. Hold. Oh, can we just try and... Can we just... If we can grab a fourth, I'm going to feel a lot more comfortable. Ball in. Bang. That's one. We're going defensive. Tactics. Tactics. You guys just defend. You guys defend. Let's just defend. We're just parking it. We are parking it. Actually, I've got, to, I've got to change everything, don't I? I've got to change all this. Get this down. Get that down. Get the press down. Let them have that. In possession, we can still do what we want. Here we go. Come on. Just hit it long. 
Just waste time. I don't. Oh, how do you how do you waste time as well? Wait a minute. Where are we? It's here somewhere. Slow the pace down. Take long kicks. Just get it forward. All right. Come on, boys. Show us something here. Come on. What's our last sub? What we're going to do? We're going to put Jungi there in that role there, I think. Let's go. Come on. Keeper's ball all day. Just pick it up, Pedersen. Why are you booting it? You want to waste time. Got to win. Come on. Got to win. That's it. Just smack it long, boys. Ten minutes of just pumping up Burnley style. This is an interesting episode, you guys. If we throw a 3-0 lead away because of this red card, I swear. I'm going to be so mad. Come on. Oh, my God. I don't know what to do. I actually don't know what to do. It's happening again. Yes, make the changes. I'm telling the boys to focus. Oh, don't throw this lead away. It's wide. Oh, this is too much. This game is too much. Just tick away, please. Just tick away. I don't want to see any more highlights. No, just get rid of this ball. Jung just hooks it long. Oh, we're under the pump. Just hit it wide. Why are they hitting it up the middle? Oh, just... Where's our shape? Jung. Come on, boys. Please, just hold on. Just give us three points. We deserve three points. We've thrown it away. Oh, it's Hanover again. They just pain in my ass. What are we going to do? He's got to go 4-4 or 4-4-1. Oh, my God. This is too much. Mazala on attack. These guys go on automatic again. These guys on automatic. I can't believe... With three new up and absolutely cruising, and we get a dumb bloody, dumb, absolutely dumb red card. An absolute joke, seriously. What an absolute joke. Let's encourage the boys. Three new up. Three new up. What an absolute joke. Win that. Where are we? We're nowhere. We're nowhere. We're going to lose. Beleza, please. Tarodi. Where's the runners? Fullbacks. I need someone. Come on. Simon, please. Tarodi. Simon's hit the bar. Oh, this is actually too much. Oh, if we can see this. Come on. Where are we? Got to win this ball. Here we go, Blazer, Jung, Tarodi. I forgot to change the other tactics. But it doesn't matter. Judder, use your pace. Jung, Tarodi, finish. Oh, it's a save. Oh, come on. Dudziak, ball in. Come on, get the ball in. Nah. Get up, get up. Come on, lads. One more chance. Nah, miss his feet. Come on, lads. Seriously, let's go. Jada inside. Jung overlaps on. Dudziak. There's time for one more attack. Come on. You don't beat him, though. Do we get time for the throw? That's a poor throw. And that's game. That's so annoying. We were dominating that game until that moment there. That red card absolutely killed us. Definitely positives. That hurts big time. We'll take the draw. That hurts. Now we're four points back, but we get a more favorable draw after that game. So anyway, YouTube... That's where we are going to leave it. We still haven't lost since the winter break. <sighs> and I don't quite know. You're going to see the cup game. And then depending on what happens in the cup, you will then uh, see 
either the next round of the cup or you'll see the game where we clinch promotion or finish in third. So you can't complain that these episodes aren't entertaining. So if you like the episode, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, make sure you come over to Twitch at Portly29 to catch all the action live. And I hope you have a fantastic day.